Today on FTI TV, we're going to check out nature aquariums. G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, reef stock is going ahead August 7th and 8th at a new uh, venue at the Sydney Showgrounds. Much bigger venue, more booths, bigger booths for vendors as well. And it's gonna be an incredible show. And I can't wait to get up there and join in and all the fun. But uh, in the meantime, in the lead up to Reefstock, we're gonna do a couple of tours uh, around Australia as well. So I'm gonna start my legs in my hometown in Melbourne here. Uh, we'll check out some stores, which today's gonna be Nature Aquariums. But uh, I'm also gonna be flying up to Sydney and Brisbane, I'll leave some dates along the bottom screen here. So if any of you guys want to join me for the store tours, uh, you are more than welcome to meet me at the stores. But uh, we are here at Nature Aquariums at 723 Whitehorse Road in Mont Albert. They are my local fish store and have been for a very, very long time. And it's been incredible to watch this store grow uh, as they've been able to develop and absolutely turn into a behemoth that it is today. And, uh, you know, walking into the store, this is their gallery, which is one of my favorite places to be at. Uh, let me turn the camera around for you guys so we can go for a quick walk around. So Nature Aquariums has well and truly mastered the art of uh, creating some of the most breathtaking displays. And this one here, although it is fresh water, is definitely, uh, you know, nothing to smirk at. This is absolutely beautiful, a Dutch style skate with a beautiful carpet and stem plants some timber ghost wood coming out the top there with some air plants. So it's got that life underneath and on top of the water and uh, run with a couple of the Illimagic Blaze freshwater lights as well. Uh, but this for me is probably one of the most perfect renditions of a freshwater aquascape and freshwater planted tank that you can get uh, for sure. This is one of my favorite tanks in this store here. I've also got this uh, complete ADA system and ADA is uh, Aqua Design Amano based out of Japan. These are their tanks, their minimalistic stands as well as their supplements and their lighting as well. This one is still pretty fresh as you can see with a little bit of growth still to come in uh, but eventually that's going to come together very very well. Uh, they've got a couple of more little nano tanks over on the side here, a little paludarium, then a beautiful Cade uh, freshwater tank here. Uh, with a gorgeous scape in, like a valley style scape inside there. You can see all of the tanks there, run a little bit of CO2 and that is the secret to success. And these guys have definitely worked out the recipe for success in freshwater aquascaping. So we're gonna, the store is open, so there are a few customers around, but that is one of their other large uh, Cade freshwater display tanks, which has just had a bit of a revamp as well. With about 3000 zebra danios in there absolutely gorgeous but that's got a bit of growth to come in heaps of bicephalandra but a nice little rescape of the tank that looks fantastic and then as we move over to this side i'll need to pull out my lens for you guys so we can get rid of a little bit of this blue but uh, they may be fantastic at fresh water but they are also masters of the saltwater world as well which brings me here today this is their uh, red sea max uh, all in one, I think they're 120 tank. Um, a lovely uh, collection of just softies, uh, mushies, LPS coral. Some really interesting ones as well, just like that. And a nice, really simple setup here. Only with a couple of clowns in there and one single gyre stood up vertically, which you don't see too often. Um, just circulating the water around the tank run with uh, one of the Red Sea LED lights there. I think that's the Reef LED 90 that we did a video on previously. And then just their skimmer down the bottom as well. But nice and basic, but you know, it just shows to prove that LPS and softies can be gorgeous in the tank as well. But then as we move over to their uh, main display tank here, which is the Cade 1800, this one here is lit up with a couple of uh, Illimagic Blaze uh, X lights with some uh, actinic vitamin strips in there as well. 
and uh, I've done a couple of videos uh, on this tank with an in-depth look on uh, their reefing philosophy on this tank and by golly has it uh, seriously grown in over the, the year or so that we did that video. Uh, beautiful collection of gonies here. Uh, some monster red gonies. Look at this gigantic uh, green glitter gonny that they got it there with beautiful purple tips on it. And uh, anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge fiend for goni, goniopora, um, especially the glitters, but it's good to see such massive colonies here. Uh, a couple of very, very happy ricks as well. Um, I dare say a lot of the stuff that is in this tank is stuff that they are hoarding uh, for reef stock as well. Some hugely grown in Montipora, as well as some chalice, some uh, absolutely stunning fungi of disc corals as well. And uh, what I do like about this tank is there's a lot of special treats just sort of tucked underneath the rock work, hidden away so you can't really see it, hidden out of the light. Uh, they actually had a huge dash uh, carpet over in this corner as well. Uh, but I think recently they did set up a, a few pieces just to free up some uh, tank space in there and I'm assuming just to put some uh, more stunning pieces in there. But, you know, this is the SPS side. You can see the incredible growth that they've been able to get. It's encrusting all over the rocks, some beautiful polyp extension and some great coloration too. Uh, so this tank is run all on the uh, Seachem Refusion 1 and 2 and the combo of the Illimagic lights and the Vitaminis is definitely uh, part of the recipe of success for them. But uh, like I said, they have not only cracked the freshwater uh, recipe, but they've cracked the saltwater recipe too. And there's the uh, mastermind behind the store. Uh, so much of a mastermind, that uh, hairline is okay. just getting further and further back there, well, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the Chief hair's going buck I wild. I last night, <laughs> so I didn't have one this morning, so that's why you're standing away over there. Yeah, well, I'm just marvelling at uh, this display tank that you've got here. And my tip is, before I hand this microphone over to you to say a few words, that there's a few pieces in here making it to reef stock from yes. this tank. It looks like a bit of a hoarding tank as well as display tank. Yeah, there's a bit of hoarding going on. Yeah. So we... Um, we're at Booth 7 at Reefstock. We're partnering up with Dean um, and, and his partner Eliza from Ozfish Coral. They're um, one of the premium collectors in Australia. They only do export, except for us. So they're exclusive um, suppliers to us in Australia. Um, and we're getting, um, we're, for a long time now, we've been getting amazing pieces. So, that, the, so the cat's out of the bag. That's, well, a, kept a that's, the, while, that's the secret of, um, of a lot of our um, amazing <laughs> coral um, that we're getting that export grade that stuff that would normally fetch those uh, very high prices overseas uh, so we're getting um, a lot of that and we'll be displaying all of that and selling it um, at uh, reef stock it's really pleased the reef stock's going ahead we were a bit worried with, with COVID all of us were of course and the rest of it uh, whether or not it'll go ahead so yeah. um, it better <laughs> 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 otherwise we're going to have a big stack of coral we don't know what to do yeah. so we're um, we're putting aside uh, about, you know, it's about every week or two when we get the shipment in, we're um, putting aside, say, half a dozen pieces, the really primo pieces. So we'll be able to bring those along to reef stock to do two things, to showcase um, what an amazing job uh, our, our collector does with Otis Fish and Coral and to showcase them to the world. And <clears throat> but also, of course, to showcase what nature aquariums therefore bring to the business uh, and the hobby uh, as a business. So um, really pleased to um, partner with them um, in... Uh, uh, in the past, we've always at Reefstock we've partnered with an exclusive collector yep. or mariculture kind of group um, because um, we, it's, it's important to not only for it to be about us, Nature Crimes, but also uh, for Reefstock to demonstrate to um, the wider community what a great job the collectors do and, and just <laughs> it's hard work. how hard it is. I'll put, I'll put a video oh. up over here somewhere of Dean just standing in oh. sideways rain collecting corals. So. And it's, yeah, I've, I've been out um, on the boat with them. Uh, not with Dean, but with, uh, with Monsoon years back. And that was a tremendous experience. It gave me great insight into just how hard these guys work. They're down there for an hour at 40 metres. I mean, bloody hell. And, so then, and, they, and they come up with nothing. And then the yeah. next time they'll come up with something great. But, yeah, it's a, it's a big ocean and can be hit and miss. So what sort of pieces from this display take do you think Well, look, um, we, we're really well known for this sort of stuff here. So we've got some um, beautiful gonies here. Um, and these really large red ones, for example, uh, in, in some different shades of red too, I might add. 
um, we'll be bringing along a couple of those. So that we had we had these three here come in on the last shipment. So, um, and I'm just looking at the screen there. Yeah, they're they're far more red than the, the screen's yeah, showing up. The camera's just not um, showing quite so properly. So they look a bit orange filter. there. But they um, pieces like that. So really large red goni. Now, yeah, you get a, you get a red frag goni here for I think we're selling for about 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's as big as your fingernail. Um, so you know well, the value in the value in the, $10, somewhere there. Yeah. So the, the tremendous value in these, so and they will be available um, at the uh, at reef stop. Um, but it's just to demonstrate that here's what here's what we do bring into store and can and can. Uh, it's good to see the hobby. large colonies as well because yeah. you know, traditionally well, they always get a lot of the stuff up. you see now gets fragged up and very very seldom do you see big colonies like this actually reach to market. And, I was yep. fortunate enough to be able to snag one from you guys for my own tank as well. well we let you have one, didn't we? <laughs> I just didn't oh. tell you. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we also have the, I mean, this is a really large glitter here too, and, and it's a couple of other different shades of red and, and so on. So um, they're, um, and they look, of course, they look like, you know, in a cluster yeah. like that. That's coming, that's sold. Uh, no, no, pretty sure that one's staying. But it, it's getting big enough now that we probably cut it in half, half and, and, half, and, yeah. and, um, and frag up half of it and leave it and leave the rest there. Um, another little one we had in like, last, come in last week is that yellow. So yeah. if you look at it next to the green on the right, you know, you, it's always good to, uh, the joke is, put it, it's not yellow unless there's a green next to it. So you can see that it's, it's somewhat yellow, at least. Um, uh, so we bring coral, that one and others like that, um, to the show as well. So we pulled that one out of, uh, last week. Well Some of these rigs are looking really nice. These rigs here, uh, and I'm not sure you can pick them up, but they, um, uh, they've been about, I don't know, two years. And, and well, they weren't there two years ago. They've just appeared um, on that on that rock. So um, really happy with that. I think it started with this one here. Yeah, very cool. And uh, and then there's little other ones here, just sort of developed over time. There's a massive orange one here, and so on. So we'll bring a collection of ricks, uh, including ones like the green here at the front, um, and it's a couple of other more shades. Oh, so, some of the gold chalice, which is yeah. which is um, hard to come by. Um, some people like it. Some people look at it and go, "Yeah, so what?" But it, it's it's so hard no, to find. It in the tank. And it just, it, you know, you got reds and greens and blues, of course, but gold, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it really stands out and really makes a point of difference in a tank. Uh, so there's some gold chalice, including some of these mottled ones and other ones around the back that are really nice. Um, so I mean, this isn't your only coral system in the shop as well. Maybe. Oh, this is like ten. This is like ten percent. Let's yeah. go out the back and have a look at the rest Let's. of the coral system out there. And Sort of yeah. you have available in the store all day, every day. Oh, good, sorry. Hi, Steve. So these are your coral systems in the store? Yes. So, um, we restock, restocked up on frags. Um, is a, a bit of flow there. That's all right. I mean, you can't see a thing there, can you? But that's all right. <laughs> um, it's, it's so, quite a bit of fragging going on here. Um, lots of acans. Lots of those little red... Um, Gonies we're just talking about, um, and it's you know it's not not everything's the you know two thousand dollar colony. You know you, these, you pick these bucks. up, yeah, forty bucks for the beautiful little blastos and these here. Um, lots of acans the same. You've got yeah, t little cheapy little finger mushrooms. Um, um, there's some yeah, mushrooms over there. You've got yeah. little baby little hammers, and um, through the other side there you can see there's quite a lot of acro. Uh, fragged up and you probably able to see in the, yeah you can you can see all those colonies as well so we get those colonies in most weeks um, and then only gone by um, you know, by Monday but um, so you know um, come in and grab them but we, we refresh them every week so it's not all um, you know the big colonies for, for 60 70 dollars you can pick yourself up a frag for 20 bucks too and there's, there's tons and tons and tons oh uh, you gotta have you gotta have flow I mean I think for I think people are really starting to understand the importance of flow now. Yeah. Um, much, I love much, that much got more. A good, uh, community of utilitarian fish as well. Obviously. Yeah, they're all there. They've got to earn their keep. On top of everything. They've got to earn their keep. Some of those are new. Um, Algae, Aptasia, if you have anything. I'm sure you've got some wrasses in there as well, no yes, doubt. Yes, probably some more mild lemmings. But I yep. think so many people undervalue how important fish are in the ecosystem of keeping coral as well. Like, Keeping pests at bay, or keeping your algae under control, or just keeping things clean, right? That's what it's, they do all day every we, we day. We treat it like that. We treat it the same way we do a planted tank. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not a. It's not a fish tank. It's a. It's an ecosystem. Um, and um, it, same approach we have that nature nature approach uh, that we have with our planted tanks. We have with our coral systems. As you say, you got the, the fish all in here. They're doing a job. They're there for a reason. 
Some of them are there for us because they're pretty for us to look at, but in our coral systems, they all think they're going to get fed. Um, they're all there to do a job, for sure. Um, We've got, uh, you know, three other systems as well with plenty of stock in there. Oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty stocked up, ready to go for the weekend, although um, we, we sold a fair bit already, but there's, uh, there's a few gaps there. But um, I think people will be blown away at some of the, especially for my uh, friends who are viewing from uh, maybe the States, but yeah, look at this. some of the pieces like bucks. that for 100 bucks. Then we move over and have a look at some of the scollies. Um, yeah. Sold most of them, but there's still a good selection there. Yeah. That, rig, that rig rock's pretty nice. There's pieces as well, but uh, a wall paint scully like that going for 200 bucks. These ones here for 250. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And then you've got a, a bargain bin over there. Oh, that's side. a bargain bin. So what tends to happen is they sit in there for a week or two. If they don't sell, they end up in here. Um, so, because we, we turn over, um, and we want to turn over. Is 40 bucks. Uh, no, better than that. Um, it's it's uh, anything in there is 40 bucks, yes. And we often have a, a buy two, get one free. So um, is that the deal you're giving people now? Buy two, oh, look, come in and ask me. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> so, sure. M m m mentioned Dave. Yeah. Um, so, um, and I there's some, some lovely, I mean, look, the $40, pieces. you know, $40 yeah, here, and then you buy two of them, you get another one, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, lots yeah, of lovely gunnies and all that. Massive, massive stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Urban area. You've got a beautiful green I love that. Back it's there beautiful. For 40 bucks as well. beautiful piece here, you know. I think it's called a mycidium or something like that. So, um, yeah, some lovely pieces. Some great pieces. Really. You know, some green fungi. And I think this is, uh, you know, great to get people into the hobby. Cheap entry fee. Absolutely. You know, not not everyone look after you know, is, is looking after a, you know. Or, or, or want something that's really hard to keep and, and costs a lot of money, and you, you, you might could bring us towards that. It's a lovely piece there. If you get that in the light, yeah, better. Yeah, you know. Forty bucks. So some of the reds and things coming through in there. It's really nice. Unreal. So um, yeah, I mean, it just goes in this tank because it's been there two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, and because we, you know, we'll get a shipment in, and we'll need, you know, to be twenty boxes each week, sort of thing, and then. Um, We'll need a couple of tanks to put that in, so it all just goes. Oh yeah, that's been there. Chuck it down there. So that's yeah. certainly a place to have a look. Yeah, um, not just livestock. I mean, you've got the whole side over there that does all your freshwater fish, which it's a lot waste of freshwater fish. Oh, what do you mean waste your time? <laughs> so but, you know, you guys are rows and rows of specialised in freshwater fish as well as plants. But nearly every single product underneath the sun you have underneath here. So could you have the microphone? I'll get you to quickly walk around and tell us. Well. Um, you name it in, in by brand, right? So um, everything you can imagine in the Red Sea brand, um, the Aquaprost and the purple here, Seachem, which is what we use for our in-store displays and a bit of Red Sea as well. Um, that's what we use on the Cade, it's this Fusion 1 and 2, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, and there's more on the other side, you've got every skimmer you can imagine and so on there. So um, our pricing policy is to be the equal cheapest in Australia. So we just want to say, um, we're saying to our customers that We've got it, and it's the best price you'll get around. So, um, no reason to go anywhere else. Um, so booth number? So booth number seven. Beautiful. Um, so, as you walk in, you turn left on the back wall. Yeah. Um, there's going to be lots and lots of great vendors there, um, just buying some amazing stock. Yeah. Um, so, you come sort in of hinted and shop around. You've got some news to share as well on some of the posts. No, I don't know, what, you, no, I don't know so. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, 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 we're opening a new store, so um, it's almost signed so i can't quite say everything it's very close um How it's big? Uh, just five times bigger <laughs> i'm not even kidding yeah. i'm not kidding five times larger than what we've got now so um a true true superstore so we'll do we'll do our own quarantine do a, a massive propagation um, opportunity um, across fresh and salt water so plants and coral and so on so yeah. you know this this coral system you see here the existing one will turn into a portion, not even all of it, of our propagation system, for example, and then we'll have new state-of-the-art water management um, and new state-of-the-art systems in Yeah, oh, it's a pet centre as well? It'll be everything pets. Pet, um, pond, aquarium. Everything. everything. Dogs, cats, reptiles, fish, of course. Um, birds, everything. I won't get it built in a, in a month, yeah. any chance, but I, within 12 months of opening, we'll have all that up and running. I suppose um, every other store wants to know where it's going to be opening. Oh, yeah, around the... <laughs> Why? What, what are they worried about? Um, I wouldn't want you next to me. <laughs> close. Close. Close to here? Close to here. Amazing. All right, well, thanks for taking us around the store. Oh, pleasure. Steve. Good to see you again. Good to see you too.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this walk around Nature Aquariums, who is my LFS base down here in Melbourne at 723 Whitehorse Road in Mondalbert. Um, but I am excited to see all of their coral displays that they're going to be bringing. Be sure to jump up and keep up to date on the uh, Reefstock Australia Facebook page. And Reefstock is going to be August 7th and 8th at the Sydney Showgrounds in Sydney. Uh, and I cannot wait. They've also got... Um, They've also got a couple of specials going with some of the hotels that are nearby, the Novotel and the Pullman. So if you guys mention and book via their restock page, you're gonna get a 20% discount on their room rate, which is fantastic. But I'm looking forward to the party. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you've got any questions at all about the uh, store tour we're here and what coral they're gonna be bringing, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And my friends, please consider subscribing to the channel because it doesn't cost you anything, but it goes a long way in helping this channel grow. And my friends, until next time. Peace.